Welcome to McTaggart tonight with me, Professor McTaggart. And have we got a guest for you, a man who has saved over 500 million lives. Ladies and gentlemen, he invented the vaccine. He died in Gloucestershire in 1823. It's only Mr. Edward Jenner. Where is he? Hmm? He was supposed to be here, but I don't know where he is. Oh, for the love of Fleming. Lucy, I'm dying here. Right news. I found my weather balloon. What are you doing? Chasing balloons. Everyone loves a balloon chase. No, no, they don't. Behave yourself. Puss. No, thank you. Your loss. Ah, right. Uh, Puss balloons. <laughs> what, what a hilarious anecdote. Uh, uh, but uh, seriously, why don't you tell us how you invented the first vaccine? Ah, well, I got the idea from a cow. A cow? Yeah, you see, I was a country doctor, and a dairy maid told me she never worried about catching smallpox because she'd had cowpox, and no one had ever died of cowpox, not even cows. I see. So you thought, let's give everyone cowpox. Hmm? Exactly. But first, I had to test my theory. Ah, clinical research. It's absolutely imperative to test every theory with rigorous scientific precision. Exactly. So I found a small boy. A small boy? Yeah, you don't want a big one. They fly back. I cut his arm and I rubbed in a load of cowpox pus. Good grief. Was he okay? No, of course not. He caught cowpox. But would you believe it? He made a complete recovery. Thank goodness. So then I gave him smallpox to see what would happen. You mean you didn't know he'd be immune? No. That's why I was testing it. Anyway, funny thing, he didn't die or anything. Not one bit. And so you began your vaccination program. No, 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 no. Hang on. You can't go around giving everyone cowpox just because one small boy didn't die. Could have been a fluke. So I got my 18-month-old baby, did the whole thing on him as well. Oh, my good Lord. And guess what? The milkmaid was right. Cowpox does protect you from smallpox. Who knew? Well, not you, obviously. If you'd been wrong, those children could have died. Yeah, or been horribly disfigured. The last thing you want is some madman rubbing smallpox pus into you. You know, that'd be awful. Anyway, I became famous, saved lots of lives, crashed balloons everywhere, and had the horns of the cow silver-plated to celebrate. Uh, the boy? No, they wouldn't let me silver-plate the boy. I don't know why. Go on, have some pus. Go no, on. No, no, no. Why don't I, I rub some into you, see what happens? No, hey. no, 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 no. Come on there. Get, get away from me. Get him off. <sighs> Robot. Oi, help. Come back here. Uh, I've got pus in my crenellations. Oh, I don't want to do interviews anymore. Oh.